Okay, this is Jordan, and um, yeah, I could see you built the different pieces, but everything's looking um, pretty severely misshapen, um, and there's a lot of kind of little problematic surface issues. It looks, you know, really pointy here. Um, And there's just sort of a lot of um, some odd edges and stuff, and um, I mean, I would probably redo this, but. I might start, if you wanted to try and salvage this, I might start with the surfaces, sculpt geometry tool options, and just turn on smooth and flood a, a couple times just to kind of soften that a little bit. Um, and then I might take these, but deselect the middle ones and kind of push these out. If I use W, hold on W and then access normal and kind of round out that forehead a little bit. This split open when I softened it because those weren't merged, but I just let's take those and um, I'll do shift right mouse click polygon display toggle back face culling so I can see both sides. Um, edit mesh, merge to center, and these two as well. Edit mesh, merge to center. Whoops. Maybe if I turn off symmetry, that'll work. Edit mesh, merge to center. There we go. And then let's do that again. Okay. Um, yeah, and then you kind of really get in there and shape this. It look, kind of looks like, uh, well that's a bit of a weird vertex there. I don't know, maybe that's a face you can get rid of. Um, yeah, there's these kind of extra edges there and there. I would get rid of that uh, something went wrong over here. Um, I really think, yeah. I mean, I would tend to just step back a lot, and because yeah, the whole thing is kind of misshapen and kind of wedge shaped, and that's at this stage that's harder to fix than it would be earlier when there's a lot less. I mean, look at the angle that the eyes are at, like instead of being kind of more flat. So to change that now, I mean, you can do it. We can maybe start with an edge loop here, and I can grow selection, which is the greater than symbol, or shift period, and just grow that out, and then B for soft select, um, and then, but, I don't know, it's just, um, then we can try to do that. Just kind of taking a big group of birds there, deselect the ones off the back. Maybe I can sort of rotate that out and move that forward as well and kind of move this stuff out and uh yeah, it's just late in the game to be making these fundamental shape adjustments. That's the that's the step you do uh, much earlier when there's you know just a few you know a few faces on it. You know, f f a few edges to work with. I'm gonna delete this half. Just make sure I selected half and then um, let's get rid of some of these other weird things like this shift right mouse click delete edge 
and that shift right mouse click to lead edge. Uh, can I get rid of that? Something's not right about that. Um, anyway, uh, yeah. So then um, make sure I'm just going to go to edges and double click on that and then just deselect the neck ones and then make sure I just have that center line. Let's get rid of the mouth ones too. Just control selecting the mouth. Hold down control and select. And just deselecting all these. And then convert selection to vertices with select. Convert selection to vertices or control F9. Actually, I think maybe we did want these. It's just a little confusing because of the shape that they're in. It's pretty wacky. Um, Anyway, um, and then let's make sure those are all exactly in the center line and go into the move tool, make sure this whole interface is open, which can be minimized and maximized here. Click on this, make sure an absolute transform, zero in the X direction, enter. Now that's all in the center line. Right mouse click, object mode, shift, right mouse click. Mirror options, uh, make sure cut geometry is turned off, combine with original merge border vertices, custom 0 0.001 mirror. And now we have uh, a symmetrical surface, but the shape's gotten kind of funny. So I think you need to, you know, just get back there and put the time in to really sculpt it. You know, get get a chin back going. B for soft select. I'll kind of grow that, and you know, maybe give it more of a chin. Turn symmetry back on. Um, yeah, I mean, there's no real shortcut for just taking your time and really sculpting this thing. Um, which just takes time. So I think that needs a lot of work. Um, and also there's real, yeah, now you have to replace some of the position of the eyebrows and stuff like that. Yeah, the collar is pretty crazy. Um, the shape is very weird and it's not built right. And it's all crazy on the bottom. I would just redo that and just follow the video. And the shirt got really messed up too. Uh, yeah, the um, it's just very misshapen. And then this is problem with it. There's no center line on it. And then this is much too wide. I would just kind of, I think you Need to just really redo these and just really take your time. The pants came out. And then you've got all these weird extra edges here at the bottom. I mean, there's so much, and then these were never shaped. They're just big blocks. Um, and uh, and this didn't get much shape either because it, it's just I feel like you're just not taking your time to work on the shapes and really carefully go through it. I honestly. Most of this stuff would take less time to just do over again and do right than to try and salvage what you have. It's 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 uh, undoing all the problems would take longer than just doing it right in the first place. So I would say go back if you want to do this right, go back over the videos and just start over.